Hello guys! Konnichiwa and kamusta po sa ating mga Filipino viewers. This is Benz and welcome to another episode of the Bogan Hunters Stay at Home series. Okay, so today we're going to answer questions, anything related to life in Japan. But before I start, I would like to encourage you to comment down below if you have any questions and I would love to answer them in the next video. Okay, so to start off, the first question that I'm going to answer is what's the climate like here in Japan? Well, Japan has four seasons, okay? Winter, spring, summer, fall. No, I'm not going to say, which can change abruptly. So during the sudden dip or rise in temperatures, you know, some people tend to catch colds. Yeah, for example, last week, you know, the temperature was very warm, like 27 or 26 degrees Celsius, but it went down this week to 19 degrees. So some people, you know, are sick. Yeah, you gotta be careful. So yeah, Tokyo uh, in the middle of Honshu, the Japan's uh, main island, has a hot and humid summer or a very cold winter, a cool autumn of red leaves and a cool spring of cherry blossoms. Some northern prefectures or provinces such as Nagano, Akita and uh, Aomori are much colder and get more snow in winter. Well, sa Okinawa naman, uh, the southern islands, you know, they enjoy a much more tropical climate but also get a lot of typhoons, you know, like the Philippines because uh, Okinawa is actually very near the Philippines. So yeah, here in Yogo, uh, specifically uh, Kobe, where I live, during the month of uh, April and October, you are most likely to experience a very good weather with a pleasant average temperature that fall between 18 to 25 degrees Celsius. So the hottest season is in July and August. Sometimes, you know, it extends in September. August being the hottest, the warmest, and the most humid. And June is the most wet month. And yeah, January, I think, is the coldest. So let's move on to question number two. When is the best time to travel here? Well, taking into account these four seasons, winter, spring, summer, or fall, the <laughs> best time to go is based on what you would like to do. For example, early spring is a popular time to visit because of the cherry blossom trees, which only bloom for a few weeks out of the year. There are actually some websites that can help you check the cherry blossom forecast so you would know which cities are in full bloom. You can go to Japan Guide or the Japan National Tourism Organization. Well, the weather becomes warm and sunny in late April and May. However, uh, Golden Week, which has several consecutive holidays, falls around this time. So everyone is off work and traveling, meaning hotels are much more expensive and crowded. Well, in summer, summer is very hot and humid and not ideal for visiting the city, though that doesn't seem to deter people from coming then, especially for those who like or love shopping and big sales. Well, rainy season is in June with very sticky heat, you know, the relative humidity is very high in summer months. But for those hoping to hike Mount Fuji, however, must come in summer between July and September as climbing the mountain is forbidden in the other seasons. Autumn is much milder and cooler and the red autumn leaves are very popular to see in the countryside. Autumn is also a good time for... Foodies! Because there's a lot of tasty foods such as pumpkin, sweet potato, and mushrooms. Nabe, or the hot pot dishes, is also starting to be served more at restaurants at this time of the year. Well, in winter, of course it's cold, you know, the snow festival is on in Sapporo, and you can uh, try winter activities like skiing and snowboarding. I also heard that Okinawa is almost empty of tourists, you know, in this season and very comfortable during this time too. If you would like to witness some festivals, you know, there are countless local festivals in Japan because almost every shrine celebrates one of its own. But due to this coronavirus pandemic, of course, they're all cancelled. So for question number three, do people still wear kimonos and other traditional clothing here in Japan? 
Well, kimonos and yukatas, their summer equivalent, are still very much worn in Japan by both men and women. Uh, they aren't actually worn as everyday clothing, but you might see these gorgeous and charming garbs in places like festivals. So for example, you will see people wearing yukatas in, in summer festivals complete with fans to stay cool. Yeah, you can see kimonos during graduation ceremonies where girls dress up in some truly beautiful kimonos when they graduate. This is, you know, a much better alternative to the black and white gowns or toga that we wear in the Philippines when we graduate. Well, you can also see them in some restaurants, you know, where staff member might wear traditional clothing to, to set the tone. And at tea ceremonies, you know, this traditional activity requires the kimono to, that goes with it. So yeah, in a lot of places, you can also rent a kimono to wear for the day while you walk around and go sightseeing. And Kyoto is very famous for this. So we're down to our last question for today's video. And the question is, what are some stereotypes about Japan that are completely wrong? Okay, so there are a couple of facts often told about Japan that are not true. And I'm going to give you three examples of that. First, Japanese people aren't super serious all the time. I mean, you should see a group of businessmen, or we call it salaryman here in Japan, after a couple of drinks in izakayas or some restaurants. You know, they laugh out loud, they can talk, you know, anything under the sign. I mean, they can crack jokes and, you know, they can just laugh all the time. So they're not very serious, okay? So next, people aren't super racist. I mean, hate crimes, you know, against minorities are pretty much non-existent in this country. And lastly, Japanese people, they don't eat raw fish and live octopus for every meal. That's wrong, okay? Yeah, I have a lot of Japanese friends and they're laughing at that question because most people think that they eat raw fish and live octopus every day and that's not always the case, okay? So yeah, we can talk about life in Japan all day long, but of course, you know, the only way to really get an idea of what it's like here is by visiting in person. So you should come and visit here and you won't regret a trip to this beautiful country, okay? And I'm a witness to that. So I guess this is it guys. Again, thank you very much, you know, for all your support. I really appreciate that. And again, you know, please don't forget to like, watch, share our videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, the Boat and Unfest. Okay? So goodbye guys and stay safe and healthy. Goodbye.